The Washington County Forensic Science Unit has a staff of three forensic analysts and two forensic technicians, including, and then in addition to that, the supervisor. The forensic analysts are the ones who go out to the major crime scenes or those scenes that require specialized analysis or documentation. Um, they'll go out mainly to homicides or major assaults or things that require that uh, specialized uh, response. Um, they are also responsible for processing evidence in the laboratory for DNA and latent prints. Um, and they are also latent print examiners. So they'll compare latent prints, analyze latent prints, and run um, prints through certain databases. Um, the forensic technicians are the ones that mainly assist the patrol and detectives, and they'll go out and process burglaries, recovered stolen vehicles, um, bank robberies. They'll do more of the technical aspect of crime scene processing. The accreditation process is something we've been working towards for years, um, over a decade, and um, it's something that uh, we, we finally achieved. Uh, it took a lot of work to do it, but it's uh, basically making sure that we have um, true quality in what we pro provide. Um, good customer service, good quality, uh, that our product is consistent, and that we're able to um, assist our customers. So we assist the entire county with any of their needs. So if they have a request for crime scene processing or they need us to work one of their latent print cases, process evidence in the lab, we will assist in that manner. So nearly 40% of all the work we do is for an agency within Washington County that is not the Washington County Sheriff's Office. I'm, I actually went to undergrad for to become a neonatologist. And after taking chemistry uh, the first semester, it, it really gave me a struggle in, in college. So I decided to take a break and I took a class in anthropology and fell in love with it. Um, I I ended up getting my bachelor's in anthropology and then when I got out of college I got a job in internet marketing and I was sitting behind a desk and decided that's not what I wanted to do <laughs> every day. So I ended up finding a program that involved both forensics or um, involved science and archaeology, my two passions. And this is before CSI. So I ended up going to university in London um, and obtaining my master's degree. So yeah, I've been with the sheriff's office um, a little over 10 years. I'm a forensic analyst um, and that entails processing evidence for latent prints, um, responding to crime scenes, and then analyzing and comparing latent prints. Well, the evidence that we collect at the scene can help place a suspect at the scene. Um, it can help show that someone was not at the scene. Um, it can go to help um, show how a crime was committed, um, both by collecting DNA and by comparing and analyzing latent prints. So typically we process a lot of evidence for latent prints. Um, the majority of the crimes that we process for are property crimes, so burglaries, recovered stolens, um, and that involves sometimes we swab the evidence for DNA um, and then we will process it for latent prints. We super glue the evidence, we treat it with chemicals, um, we either photograph or lift the latent prints and then we take them back to our desks and analyze the latent prints and do latent print comparisons or searching in databases. So I got into this kind of a weird way. I went to school for business um, and after a semester realized that I was not meant for business <laughs> and I dropped out of college and went to a two-year school and took an intro to criminal justice and one day the crime lab director came in for the state of North Dakota and spoke and after listening to what he said, um, that was it. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I've always been interested in science, even as a very little kid. I, at three, I wanted to be a zoologist. So I've always, I've always wanted to be in science. Um, graduating high school, I definitely wasn't initially thinking about forensics, but I started college and. I uh, was working on a chemistry degree and chemistry wasn't really the right fit for me and so I moved to uh, biological anthropology so I ended up majoring in biological anthropology and then I minored in chemistry and material science so forensics seemed like the natural place for me to go from there. Um, my family's also, my dad's a lawyer, my mom's a mediator so I kind of have a little bit of a justice system kind of background, but I'm, I'm a scientist, so how, how do I fit into the justice system? And forensic science is, is how I do that. I'm, I'm a puzzle solver. I like to solve puzzles. I like to see how things fit together, and forensics definitely allows me to do that. If they're thinking about a career in forensics, it's, it's gonna take work. Um, I worked in kind of parallel industries, 
before I actually could get a job as a forensic technician. And I worked as a forensic technician for three years before I got this analyst job. I am a forensic technician at Washington County. Uh, forensic technicians are a active field level of processing, so we do process a lot of crime scenes that are property crime scenes. Uh, most commonly burglaries, recovered stolen cars, uh, and sometimes even taking prints from deceased persons as well. I went to university for a Bachelor of Science in Biology originally, and my university offered a forensic science program. I went to the introductory class and I just fell absolutely in love with it. Uh, sciences have always been kind of a love for me, and with that and my interest in photography, it worked really well for a crime scene technician. Uh, I would say that my background getting here has been a little bit difficult. Uh, popularity of this job has increased significantly in the last decade. And it used to be that um, not many people knew forensics existed, and now everyone kind of knows forensics exists. So I worked for the state of Oregon for a while as a invasive species technician, um, working on a bug project. I've worked in a lot of customer service jobs and that helps. Uh, at crime scenes, you do have a tendency to be interacting with people who have just gone through traumatic events and having those skills to communicate with people is definitely a plus. Um, I really, even as competitive as this field is, I really do think it is a excellent blend of a practical applied science. So it is not just 100% lab work, you are out in the field you are interacting with people from all different kinds of roads of life. And you really have to be able to blend a strong scientific background and understanding core scientific principles with the ability to carry it out in the field um, under some strange and adverse conditions sometimes. Uh, we are out there 24-7 uh, from rain, sleet, snow. It's, it's a fun time. And I would definitely say for anyone who's considering this as a field to make sure you, you know, market yourself in all of the different things. Uh, any kind of lab experience you can have will be helpful. Any kind of photography experience you can work in would be good. And strong math skills are definitely a plus.